I want you to start by just setting up your space for your at-home facial. Take the time to set your scene. Light a candle, bring any crystals into the room. Make sure you have everything you need at hand so you can take the time for yourself. Welcome to your at-home facial. I hope by now you've taken the time to get everything set up and everything you need in front of you. I hope you've taken the time to light a candle or maybe draw a bath for yourself wherever you can find sanctuary during this really crazy time right now. I'm glad you've all decided to join me, whether you purchase one of the facial kits or if you're just following along at home with what you have. I look forward to us all having a nice little breath and a quiet moment for ourselves just to tap out of the madness for a little bit. So the first thing that you're going to want to do right away off the bat is give your hands a really good wash. You'd want to do that regardless of anything going on with the coronavirus. Anytime before you ever touch your skin or your face, your hands, hands to your face, always make sure you're thoroughly washing your hands beforehand. If you have a headband, now's a really good time to throw that on and get ready, protect your hair. I don't know if any of you have been keeping up with washing your hair and heading out into the world. I know I am going to need a visit to my hairdresser when this all clears up. And my eyebrows could probably really use a tint too. <laughs> okay. I invite you if you have any essential oils at home right now to just do a little aromatherapy. The only thing I have at home right now is eucalyptus, but that's okay, it suits me fine. It's one of my favorite smells, it's so clean. And just take a nice deep breath in through your nose. And exhale, letting all the air out of your mouth. deep breath in through your nose, exhaling slowly out your mouth, and one more nice deep breath in everybody, gather in as much air as you can, slowly letting all the air out through your mouth, hope you're feeling a little bit more grounded. The next step in our at-home facial is going to be to take the time to cleanse our skin. And cleansing the skin daily is important to remove any dirt, oil, debris, pollution, anything you've come across during your day, bacteria building up on the skin. It's important to do it at least twice daily, first thing in the morning and before going to bed, especially before going to bed at night and very important to give it a very thorough clean if you're somebody who is wearing makeup every day. So there's gonna be all sorts of different cleansers that you guys have at home with you right now. Um, some of you have the Ormetic Balancing Gel Cleanser. That one's really good for sensitive skin, balancing the skin, it's the all organic formula. One of the top ingredients in it is actually aloe vera. So that's a foaming gel cleanser. Um, I like to use that one, especially during the nighttime when I'm washing my skin. I like how it has the foam to help me remove any makeup I might be wearing. And some of you also have uh, the Vital C cleanser at home. I have the big pro size because I am always using these at home. The Vital C cleanser is really good for red, sensitive, really dry, really dehydrated, rosacea skin types, any post, post peel, any time when your skin's really dry, sensitive, inflamed, this is going to be a great choice for you. And it's one of the cleansers that I prefer to use in the winter when my skin is feeling a little bit on the drier side or in the morning, so I'm being very gentle and not stripping my skin in the morning. Um, some of you might also have other cleansers at home based on what you're using, maybe Sephora products or some of the other kits that I have out there. There's acne kits too, so you might be using the salicylic pure gel cleanser as well. So just go ahead and dive in with whatever you have. Um, we're going to try the Ormetic if you're following along with me. 
So with this guys, you, you guys, it's very, very concentrated. A little bit goes a long way. That little tester that I gave you in your kits, that should last you nearly two weeks. So you're just gonna wanna put a little tiny pinch in your fingers and then add a little bit of water to your hands and start foaming it up. If you're using the Vital C cleanser at home, you're not gonna be getting any foaming action. It's a cream cleanser. I like to take the time to smooth it onto my skin. Dipping your hands in a little bit more water if you need it. And you really wanna get in there when you're cleaning. Pay special attention to the areas where it creases in your chin and under the, in the nose folds. You really wanna take the time to be working your cleanser in for at least a minute, sometimes two. And of course, not forgetting your neck. Really, really make sure you're taking the time to get a really good cleanse. And especially if you're doing your final cleanse at night, you might even wanna do this, this step twice to really make sure that you've removed all of your makeup and any debris that's on the skin. It's really good to have your skin really clean and not get into the habit of having makeup on your skin when you're going to bed at night. Nighttime is a great time for your cells to regenerate and you don't want any breakouts. So now you can go ahead, you can either splash your face in the sink or if you're in the bathtub. I'm in my home office. So I'm just gonna use the same fluffy pads that I use during your facials at the spa. I love these, they feel like little pillows on your face. And just continue to splash or gently dab your cleanser away. So like I said, if you were wearing a lot of makeup or you're getting your skin ready for bed tonight, make sure you go in with a second cleanse and really take the time to get all that makeup off there. You can use an oil-based cleanser at first to help remove it or a makeup remover, a wipe if you really like. I'm not the biggest fan of wipes for final makeup removal, but um, it's a good way to start getting the process going. Next, we're gonna move into exfoliation. Proper exfoliation removes the barrier of dead skin cells that are clogging up the skin and it helps to surface any of the fresh new skin cells below. This also uh, helps open up the way for any products that we put on after to be more effective and be able to absorb. There's many uh, ways to do exfoliating, whether it's using um, a physical product, like a gritty product, like a lot. I gave all of you the Aluma brightening powder. You would find that in your, it came on a cardboard and it comes in a little square, little piece that I had tucked in there too. So this would be an example of a, a physical exfoliant. It has grit to it too. I'll tell you a little bit more about this powder in depth too. I just have my little book out here too, because there's lots of details to it. So it's a polishing powder that gently cleans and exfoliates all skin types. Uh, the ultra soft micro exfoliating blend removes debris and oil from the pores while providing long-term hydration and age-defying benefits. It contains a new generation of natural botanicals, enzymes, antioxidants to help the skin reach a new level of radiance. And it's also of course paraben free. 
Um, everything it, with image is completely paraffin free. They are cruelty free, reef safe. So some of the key ingredients in here, this stuff's packed with stuff. You're gonna smell it. It has a uh, coconut milk powder. So that's rich in protein, vitamins, and it aids in cell regeneration. There's pumpkin, pumpkin enzyme. En pumpkin enzyme is a powerful exfoliant. It uh, gently exfoliates the dead skin cells and it kind of will like munch them off like dead little, little Pac-Man, <laughs> munching it all up on the skin. Uh, there's also uh, lactic acid in it, uh, a little bit of licorice ac um, extract, which is a natural skin lightener. It has green tea le leaf, which is a natural antioxidant. And yeah, it also has um, a water soluble form, a uh, stable form of vitamin C, which will help decrease dark spots too. So this is a very brightening, brightening product that is safe for everybody to use. So this is great. You can either, so it comes in a powder form. If you guys want to follow along or you could save it for another time too, if you don't want to use it this time. So it comes in a powder form. It smells so good like coconut. And what you want to do is you can either mix it to your cleanser. So you could have done that in the first step, or you can just add it with a little bit of water. And as you'll see, it foams up. So if you really want to do a nice brightening treatment. This is a nice step to add a few times a week for your skin. And just like the cleanser, gently working it in. It does have a little bit of grit in it, so you, you don't want to be too aggressively pulling out the skin, just massaging it in. I love the way this stuff smells. It smells like a tropical getaway. which none of us will be going on for a little while. So let's just really enjoy this moment. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that from my skin. I tend to have a little bit more sensitive skin, very redness prone. I also have rosacea. And I have combination skin, a little bit on the drier side though. So it's really good for those of you that have sensitive skin out there. I test just about everything on myself first and I know if I'm gonna have a reaction, then you probably will too, so. Always know that when you're coming in and you're a little bit nervous with the sensitive skin thing, we could always just try a little bit and see how you do. But I am always a guinea pig. Sometimes it backfires, but then I know. It's good to try things out on yourself so you know how it feels. So yeah, that step was not necessary, but if you do want to have a little bit of extra exfoliation or your skin's feeling really dry, really rough, really dull, good time to bust that open or please feel free to save it for another time. Okay, so now that we've done that little bonus step, we're gonna actually go into our first exfoliating mask. So most of you have the Vital C kit out there, which is the vitamin C kit, really great for red, dry, sensitive, rosacea. Great for most people with our winter skin as we're prepping to get into the spring months now. So yeah, some of you will have uh, the Vital C hydrating enzyme mask. Um, some of you who have the Ormetic, um, the Ormetic will have the Ormetic gel. But I want you, everybody who has the Ormetic gel, I want you to just save that one for the end. So you would probably have the Vital C in your kit. So everybody can go ahead and jump in with this or with whatever exfoliator you have at home. This is also an opportunity for those of you that uh, took the Ageless sample home. If you're really wanting a good scrub and a little grit, if your skin's a little bit oily, 
um, if it has a little bit of pigmentation, this is a great choice for you to really give it a good scrub. It has a, a glycolic acid in it, a little bit of salicylic acid. Okay, so for myself, I'm a little bit more of the sensitive sensitive flower, so I'm just gonna go in with the, the hydrating enzyme mask. This is a really, really gentle but effective hydrating mask has a lot of vitamin C in it. And it's also using those natural fruit enzymes. A lot of you who've been in for treatments in the spa are gonna recognize the smell. It's that one you guys all love. So even though this one is gentle, it's very effective, you might start to notice a little bit of tingling, a slight little burny sensation on your skin. And that are, is those fruit enzymes making their way, biting like little Pac-Man, just like the pumpkin enzymes. This one has pineapple and papaya in it. Vitamin C, very brightening, very hydrating. So you just wanna work that in and massage it into the skin, the face, and the neck. And we're gonna wanna leave this on the skin now for about eight to 10 minutes. So now is a good time. You can drop that bath bomb in the tub if you haven't done that already, or if you're saving it for another time, now's a good time to just take a little moment to breathe, read a book, set a timer, watch a little episode of your favorite show if you're if you're doing this in front of the TV right now. Hey, do it wherever you can. I'm just glad you're here with me. Okay, we'll meet you back in about 10 minutes. Okay, the mask has had time to be on our skin. So here's a little bonus to you for those of you that love the hot towels at the spa when we're doing the facial. I don't know if there's a best feeling. I will always forget always forget, always remember the first facial I ever had. And it was actually while I was away at aesthetic school. So believe you me, a lot of you that are coming in for your first ever treatments, I had never had the pleasure of having a lot of these things done too. So never be nervous when you come in to see me, I'm gonna make you feel really comfortable and really educated about what we're doing. So what I like to do sometimes when I'm at home just to be a little bit extra is I'll actually dampen my, my hand towel and I'll actually stick it in the microwave for a few seconds. Just be careful so you don't burn yourself. It should be quite warm to the touch when it comes out. And then you're just gonna wanna give it a good little shake, get all the excessive heat out because you don't wanna burn your skin. And then you can wrap it around your face. So you can just lay back and really enjoy this moment, but because you need to hear me talk. I'm not going to enjoy it as much as you are. But that's a really nice tip if you want that spa feeling and you want that nice warm towel compress. And you can just go in and very gently, you don't want to be aggressively rubbing at the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin like me. And just very gently Remove all traces of that exfoliant. And I should have mentioned too, of course, you only need to use a tiny, tiny little pinch, you guys. This stuff is very concentrated. And if you're removing the ageless mask right now, that one can be a little bit tricky to remove. It's best to, sometimes I like to use that one in the shower too, just because it has a lot of little micro beads in it. And while it's super effective, those things can really stay put too. So yeah, just use a lot of water to loosen that up. Still feel a little bit left over on the skin. How's everybody's skin feeling so far? Nice and resurfaced. So normally if we were in the spa, we would next likely move into 
the wonderful massage treatment and I'm very sad to say I can't be there to physically hands-on help you guys with that part right now but definitely if you happen to be at home with a partner or a kid or roommate and you guys are all locked in your house together maybe somebody will wash their hands and give you a nice facial massage. I do have that uh, sample of the hydrating facial oil that I put um, in your kits. Everybody got one of those to take home with them. So that's a facial oil that you can use for hydration. So how you would use that is after layering all your products on, so that would be your cleanser, your serum, your moisturizer, everything like that, then you would wanna put that on top to lock and sink and make that barrier so it stays nice and pressed into the skin. You can use it as a massage medium or you can just throw it right on your skin. It's very hydrating and packed full of vitamin C. It smells amazing too. It's what I use for massage and it's also what I use for dermaplaning when we're in the spa as well. Have any of you had dermaplaning treatments yet? That is one of my favorite skin treatments to not only receive but to do as well. It's so much fun and it's such an instant result. So if you don't know what der um, dermaplaning is, it's taking a surgical steel blade, a sterile one, and you just take off the dead layer of skin and any of that little peach fuzz as a bonus will come off. And it really will help soften any fine lines and work on pigmentation problems. And also since we removed that big de debris, like acting almost like a chemical peel, and you can do actually chemical peels on top of it after, depending on if your skin is strong enough. And definitely I'd want, want to have worked on you before we ever went and did anything like that just to see how your skin was gonna react. But yeah, you can uh, do peels on top or, or any serums or any other hydrating products that you put on after are going to be able to penetrate so much deeper into your skin. So that was our exfoliating treatment. Hope you enjoyed. So just like when we're in the spa, I wanted to make sure that you guys could all have two different masking options. So we went in with the exfoliant first, and now we're gonna go more with targeting issues. So um, some of you who may have used the Ageless before, you might wanna jump in and go ahead and use that hydrating enzyme mask. It's very safe and wonderful to actually use both of those together. Um, I use a lot of those in my illuminating facials at the spa. Um, some of you are going to have that Ormetic gel mask and this is packed full of aloe vera. It's organic aloe vera. This stuff is God sent for me and my sensitive skin, especially anytime near the summer you get any like, always wear your sunscreen, always. But if you do happen to ever get a little bit of sunburn, this stuff cools it down. I love using it post-treatment. Um, I use this all the time as an SOS after I'm testing different things out on my skin, different peels, and if I ever have a little bit of a reaction or it's a little spicy on my skin, I love this powerhouse to soothe it down and this is packed full of all organic ingredients. The whole Ormetic line through Image Skincare, that is their whole all fully organic line and it's a uh, pregnancy safe, safe for anyone to use. Pregnancy, pregnancy, breastfeeding, anybody can use that one. So some of you have that option. Um, what else do we have? Some of you I know had the, the skin firming transformation mask. This one is really awesome. It's a really beautiful blue mermaid shiny color. Let's do a little swipe of it so you can see it. Actually, I'll use it on my skin. How about that? And some of you also got the, the probiotic mask, the green one, so that one's a clay mask. The, the clay mask is one of my favorite ones to use when I'm having a little bit of a hormonal outbreak too. So you know what, just to be fun, we're gonna do something called multi-masking. So just cause we could all use a little bit of firming, just to show you guys what this looks like. I'm going to go in with the firming mask. It's such a beautiful shiny blue color. I feel like a, a mermaid when I use this. All right. 
so for the most part this section of my skin is behaving i don't know about you guys but i know i most certainly have been diving into the snacks since i'm at home lately so needless to say we dipped a little bit too much into the chocolate and junk food and we're having a little bit of a hormonal outbreak happening right now too so i'm gonna go in with my secret stuff the probiotic mask so this stuff is hulk green clay smells very earthy and this is going to draw out any imperfections and impurities so this is my area that acts up when I'm going through those little breakouts, especially along the jawline and along the chin. So we are gonna multi-mask so we can target different issues at once. Of course, this is not necessary. Just doing it for your benefit and for my skin's benefit. So you can kind of see them both on. Or you could also be going in with either that hydrating enzyme mask, which will really help to continue brighten uh, what we're doing and add that extra boost of hydration or use that beautiful um, ormetic gel mask too. Those of you who have the dry skin, the sensitive skin, you are going to love that just as pure recovery and it smells delicious too. So same thing as before, we're gonna go ahead and leave this on for about 10 minutes. So go do something relaxing for yourself and I hope a lot of you are just finding a little moment to just meditate and breathe. This has been such a stressful time for everybody around the world globally, not just in our small little community. But I know if we all work together, we're gonna come out from this stronger, you guys. There's a reason this is all happening. I don't know what it is, but you know what? There's no better place in the world that I would wanna be during such a hard time is right here in this community because I have seen what this community does when somebody is having a hard time, we all come together. So home is a good place to be right now. And I hope that you are all staying really safe and staying healthy out there and staying home. Let me bring the spa to you guys. Okay, so find your little moment of bliss. I really hope a lot of you will actually just take the time to do a little meditation. Take some time to just take some deep breaths and a pause from that big bad world because it's out there waiting for you, but this is your time right now. Okay, we're back after our time with the mask on. I hope everybody had a little zen moment. And if you didn't, hang in there. These houses are gonna, the, the quarters are getting tighter. I know it's it's hard, but. We all gotta hang in there. Find your zen. Okay, so hopefully your skin is feeling nice and firm or hydrated, all the, all the imperfections drawn out. Just want to gently remove. And remember to never aggressively tug at your skin. You want to be as gentle as possible. And just slowly work on removing this whole mess off. And it's also, if you, if you do want to be a little bit extra, I do invite you to make another one of those beautiful, hot, steamy towels. I'm gonna skip it this time because, just because we got this in front of us now and we are ready to rock, so. Oh, my skin is already feeling nice and tight. I haven't actually used either of those masks in a while. That was really nice. Yeah, really make sure you get all the bits off.
Okay, now that we have that all removed, we are going to start to head into finishing products now. Up next, we are about to start heading into our finishing products. So that's gonna be our serums and our lotions. If it's during the daytime, it's gonna be making sure you're wearing your SPF. And if you're heading for, for bed, then you make sure you put on a really nice nourishing night cream to boost your skin while you're sleeping. So a lot of you opted to grab an INV lash and brow conditioner. This stuff is awesome. It has a lot of propeptides and it really just helps support and condition your lashes and brows so that they can get thicker and longer and fuller. And we could all probably use a little bit of that. So just because some of you got it and I know you're new to the product, I'm just going to show you how to use it. So first you shake it and then you take, take it out and it's like a little eyeliner brush and then you just go Let's see flick flick twice on the on the lid because you don't need it dripping with excess and then you just draw along your lash line and one dip will do both eyes careful not to get it into your eyes and you're gonna want to use this in the morning just once a day it's all you need it'll take you about probably about four to six weeks to start seeing results. I'm just going to go in for another dip too and quickly do my brows. We are really helping to fill in some of my bald spots. I've noticed especially at the front here and right where I have my gap in my arch there. I'm already noticing some success. I've decided I am going to stay in solidarity with all my clients and I am not going to tint or pluck my brows until this is all over because I can't be walking around like that and leaving you guys out so just like that that easy so you'd want to do that every morning before you apply any of your skin products just let that have a little minute minute to settle in yeah let me know if any of you that didn't get have it have any interest in it or any other questions too and I'd be glad to address it. So just finish applying that eye envy. I do that every day. You can just like love how fluffy and long my brows are starting to get. I think my lashes are going to take a little minute to catch up but I still have hope for them. Okay, so there was all sorts of different samples you guys got in your little goodie bags. Some people got uh, samples of the total ageless hyaluronic filler. Some people got um, the Vital C water burst. Some people got, um, oh, I don't have it on my desk right now, but there's the Vital C ACE serum. And of course, everybody would have either received the hydrating vital C serum in the vital C kits, or you would have had the matching or medic uh, propeptide serum. So make sure you're grabbing any of those out right now. My skin is dry. So I am just gonna go in with a little bit of that pure hyaluronic filler. This is pretty much my holy grail product. This has six forms of hyaluronic acid in it. It's a really unique product. And it's gonna bind a thousand times the water to your skin. So that is step one. It's a very versatile product. You can sm smooth it on your skin first. You can add it to things like your masks if you want to. I prefer not to do that because I don't wanna see this goodness go down the drain. But you could if you wanted to, you could add it to, um, sometimes I'll add a little pinch of it to my moisturizer as well. And just because I'm really dry and I love this product and I haven't played with it in a while, Lee steals this one all the time. This is the Hydrating Water Burst. So if you had that, pull it out. This stuff feels amazing. Also packed full of like vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, propeptides. This stuff is like, 
what we'd call something you could throw in your purse. It's a purse product. So you can just put up like a cherry size amount. And you guys, if you have it, will love the texture and the way it turns to like wet like consistency upon applying it to the skin. It's really refreshing, smells amazing like citrus. My partner, Lee, he loves using it as an aftershave. It's his favorite product. So needless to say, that one disappears from my end of the counter a lot of the time and I have to find it in his. <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't want to use your little samples and you wanted to just hold on to them for another time, please feel free to do that. But now at this time, we are going to either dive in with the, the Vital C hydrating, um, hydrating serum that you would have had or the Ormetic version of it. And just, with, just so you guys know with these products, a little bit goes a long way. This is the, the take home retail size of the Vital C enzyme mask. Uh, Lee and I both use this and it's two ounces and I'm pretty sure I've had this for over a year already Still going through it still going strong use it regularly. So don't waste your products You guys a little bit goes a long way one of the image cleansers should be lasting you Anywhere from about four to six months if you're going through it faster You are dumping it down the drain. So little pinches. So I've got the dry red irritated I am going in with the vital C hydrating this is my favorite serum of all time. It has that delicious Vital C orange smell and glides on like a moisturizer. Feels so good on your skin. Most people, when they get a sample of this, end up purchasing full size. I know a lot of you, Rupert, have this one and are loving it as much as I do. serum is all massaged into the skin. So the reason we want to use our serum first is because it is the targeted treatment. So it has nice small molecules in it. There's going to be so many different types of serums you could be using, whether they have hyaluronic acids in it, vitamin C's, all sorts of different ingredients, glycolics for anti-aging and resurfacing, retinols even in some cases. So those have nice small molecules, so we want to put that on first directly after cleansing the skin because it has those nice small molecules and we don't want to block them so they can sink right into the skin and do their handiwork. Okay, and next I am going to go in with the, the Vital C Hydrating um, Recovery Gel for the under eye. So if you're following along at home, and if you're use, you have an eye cream that you love at home, just go ahead and pop it on. And if you're not using one yet, you might want to consider it. It's a really delicate area. You want to take really good care of it, really gentle. Sometimes I like to give myself a little massage, pressure points. So I love this for helping with hydration under the under eye, battling any fine lines, and helping to diminish dark circles. Okay, and then it's evening for myself. So up next, I am definitely gonna go in with my night cream. So for those of you using the Vital C kit at home, you have the hydrating repair cream. I have the big giant pro size, so you can see retail versus pro. I don't even mess around. I just bring the big guy home. When you guys um, get it at the spa, it comes in the jar size. So this is the Ormetic Pro Peptide Cream. So you're either going in with your Vital C or your Ormetic Pro Peptide Cream. Both are great. I alternate between the two of them, depending what my skin wants in. Oh, you know what for fun today because I just really love the new packaging I love the wood details there's a little spatula that comes with it you never want to dig your fingers right directly into the pot so 
to take out just a little pinch. I probably honestly used way too much there. And I'm just gonna smooth and draw it onto my skin. You guys really enjoy when you're doing your skincare routine. Make it a little bit of a ritual. This is a moment for yourself. I used to just rush through it and be almost annoyed by it in my youth. But now it's actually just kind of a nice way for me to unwind and focus on myself and just breathe for a moment. Okay, and of course, if it was during the daytime and you were stepping out every single day, that is my number one rule. Everyone always asks me what my biggest beauty secret is and number one full on wear your SPF everybody like I as you can tell I'm very fair-skinned and I've always been very subject to burning so out of pure necessity and no choice I have always been very diligent about being sun safe and wearing my SPF and making sure I'm covered and avoiding the peak hours of the sun kind of between you know around like 12 and 2 or 10 and 2 depending on where you are it can be very bright during that day and very hot so I think I have actually done pretty well in the fine lines and wrinkles department too. Like even if you're looking at my forehead, no Botox in there, but I have taken very, very good care of my skin. So between using my sunscreen and using my product, like the, the hyaluronic filler, the hyaluronic acid, the six different types, that is how I keep my skin really nice and plumped up and protected so fine lines and wrinkles aren't coming for me. And as I've explained to you a lot as well too, like even though we live in a place where it's not so sunny, despite what it looks like right now in Prince Rupert, it's beautiful out there, you must protect your skin every time you're out outdoors, all the time. And even if you're stuck inside, we live in the digital age now too. So all that screen time, that blue light that's being emitted, that's causing free radical damage. So I want you to really think about all the time we're spending on our phones, on our iPads, watching TV, and just realize that that's emitting that, that free radical damage as well. So you definitely want to make sure you're protecting your skin. So um, at my spa, I carry the uh, four different types of the Image SPF. Um, it is actually your daytime cream too. It just has the added benefit of having SPF in it too. So I don't want you thinking this is just purely SPF alone. It also has a lot of skin loving ingredients, has uh, sh like shea butter and it has well, they're, they're all different formulations. Like some of them have like Japanese green tea in it too. So this is absolutely your daytime skincare, but it has that added benefit of SPF. So at my spa, I carry the daily mattifying oil-free. So this is going to be great for your oily, acneic skin types. I also like to use it as well because I have combination skin and I can get a little oily in my T-zone. And this stuff is absolutely beautiful as a makeup base. My skin can be a little bit too dry to just get away with using just this alone. So sometimes I'll just put on a little pop of my, my Vital C or my Ormetic um, nighttime cream. Just a little wave of that to give me a little, little uh, touch of moisture and then I'll go in with the mattifying. But I also do love using the daily um, hydrating SPF version as well too. Um, especially during the winter and days I'm dry. I absolutely always use that during the winter dry months. I do also carry it in an SPF 50. So you know if I'm gonna be catching a lot of rays, I'm gonna be spending time going on holidays, spending time by pool. I am going to be, if you're working outdoors a lot, like use that thick stuff and you know it actually sinks into your skin pretty nicely especially if you do add a little bit of a moisture underneath it helps spread it around a little bit highly recommend that and i also carry it in a tinted version as well it is only one color so it can it's a little bit of a mid-tone for myself it's a tiny little bit too dark as much as i love it 
but I do still have it, of course, in my collection because I am such a, a little skincare junkie. So I will mix a little pinch of the tinted in with my, my hydrating and smooth that on my skin too. And then that way I don't even worry about uh, wearing makeup and just kind of use it like a BB cream, but also getting those added skin benefits. So yeah, you guys, that was our at-home facial. I hope you found that educational and relaxing, and I hope I could help create a little bit of a distraction during this hard time that we're all going through as a collective right now. I want you all to take care, stay really safe out there. If there's anything that I can do to help you guys, any of you out there struggling, need a little bit of help, uh, need, need me to go run and pick something up for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Use your neighbors, use your friends, but just try to stay home as much as you can right now, you guys, and try to avoid any unnecessary going out and about. Even uh, with myself, when I'm doing your deliveries, I am really in control of what's going on. I am often leaving in the evening when everybody is gone and that way I can be really in control with no one trying to walk into the store, practice safe social distancing, uh, wipe down all my handles and keep everything clean and safe for you before I drop it off directly to your doorstep. So thank, thank you to all of you that decided to join me and I hope some of you were following along at home too even if you didn't purchase it this time. Um, if you have any questions about anything that we did, some of the products you got, some of the samples you might have received and you want to know exactly how to use them or what they do and any questions revolving skincare, very happy to still be here during this time for you all and answer any of your questions and yeah, hopefully I can keep making some videos to keep busy and educate you all because I miss you all so much and I cannot wait until I get you all back into my treatment room. And until then, you all take care and stay safe. Thank you, Prince Rupert. <laughs>